average to start within a month. But that average means that some people are going to start earlier and some people are going to start later and that's okay. That doesn't mean that it's bad or wrong. That's okay. So while you guys are still waiting, there are things you can do. You can work on your bio. I started a Facebook group for branding yourself. VIP kid branding yourself. There's a bunch of people in there that are willing to critique and like give advice and thoughts and there's not really other groups out there like this. So join the group on Facebook and have us critique, like if you're applying especially, like so if you're if you're my referral, join right away and start working on those materials. But you can keep working on those. You can keep getting, you can keep improving them. If you don't, so my plan was if I didn't get booked within two weeks, my plan was to, I knew what changes I was going to make to my video before I even was officially contracted. I knew what changes I was going to make if it took two weeks to get booked. Like I knew things that could make my video better or possibly more appealing to a different group of people. Work on your video. Start typing up tips. For, if you want to start referring people, start typing up things for them. Start vlogging about your experience for other VIP kid teachers. That's fine. But things you can also do is take workshops. Take workshops. They're so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I took, um, I took like six workshops my first week because I only taught one class. So take workshops. Work on your bio. Um, get into Facebook groups. There's a bunch of groups. You can start networking with people and start uh, learning questions, things that you don't know the answer. I don't, there's so many things I don't know. That, oh, <laughs> learn to navigate the teacher portal. If you learn to navigate it and to write feedback before you're in a class, it's going to go much smoother. Learn to navigate those things a little bit. There's works, there's tutorials, there's workshops, there's all sorts of things online. Get into it. Redo your classroom. My classroom still needs to be redone. I'm going to redo it. You can't see this, but <laughs> I'm going to redo it on a different wall um, so I can have a standing spot and then a, like a ball and I have a shelf that I can put my computer on two different shelves that should work and then I have an art studio where I hang things and so it'll anyways it'll be on that wall I think I'm gonna keep this spot because it's the back of a closet door and I'll be able to teach on the floor if I because I like sitting on the floor <laughs> I'm a weirdo but uh and it's super easy to teach on the floor like I just come sit down but yeah so work on your classroom take workshops join Facebook groups uh work on your bio I think that's all I wrote so Yes, do those things. Don't compare yourselves, you guys. I think one of the things that helped me with this, I had a professor. Actually, graphic design kind of like is it's brutal. You, yeah. But I had a uh, professor who brought in a professor who would like throw your stuff on the floor and walk on it, and like he'd burn his own students' work, and like 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 it's all we have strengths and weaknesses. Like I have had pieces of artwork ripped apart in front of the class. Like, oh my gosh. Like it's it's okay. We're gonna do things wrong sometimes, we're gonna do things right sometimes. Like, it's not, it's not personal. Like, if my video, I, one of my photos on, on my profile, my third photo, is not great, that doesn't mean I'm not great. Like, if your video is not great, that doesn't mean you're not great. Like, there's critique, there's things you can do to make those videos better, better, and to appeal to more people, but that doesn't mean you're not great. Like, don't take it personally. Like, my personal belief is that God created us and we are all individuals and all have our strengths and weaknesses and God loves us. But, like, so, it's like, I personally believe that, like, it's okay if, if, if I get, like, lots of four Apple reviews or three Apple reviews or two Apple reviews that are deserved, like, that's okay. Like, I don't want that to happen, but it's, it's okay. Don't take these things personally, you guys, and don't compare yourself to other teachers. Don't compare yourselves to other teachers. You're different. You're you. Come up with your style, your everything.